Welcome on in to OTCW episode 3 of Rebound. Happy to have each one of you here on our YouTube crowd checking us out. We are beginning with a very rare appearance. Our first match will be the women's champion going up against Karen. So let's get started with that. And we will take it to the ring. So let's take it to the ring. Mrs. Theory had to go through a bit of a change. We now know her as Queen of Theory, but not only a name change, a wardrobe change as well. She is the current OTCW Women's Champion. She's a three-time champion, acquiring the title at our last major pay-per-view event, our all-women's pay-per-view. She was challenged by both the Women's Intercontinental and the Women's Champion, and defeated both, taking both titles, However, she dropped the Intercontinental title, claiming she didn't need it anymore because she could take it back anytime she wants it. Sound words from a woman that's won the title and the women's world title all in one night. And her opponent needs no introduction from DWF Uncensored. And from Dayton, Ohio, Karen. Karen representing the best of DWF Uncensored. She is hardcore to the bone. And here we go. Blocking horns, Miss Omega getting the advantage and immediately applying pressure to the midsection of the body. Oh, Karen will counter what looked to be like a powerbomb attempt. Pushing the champ into the ropes. Miss Omega comes back with a scatter sickle combination of a backbreaker and a clothesline. A kick to the back of the leg. Then the back of the arm. Now taking time to work on the neck to wear Karen down. Clamping down on the trapeze muscle of the shoulder. But Karen able to get out and sweep the leg with a single arm. Miss Omega returns fire with a clothesline dragging her to the mat, followed by mounted punches. And again, another clothesline. Karen crawling to get up. Shoulder into the turn midsection there into the turnbuckle. Walking out into a backbreaker. Carrying her into a second backbreaker. Miss Omega now stretches her out with the leaping unprettier. And already looking for a finish. She's 
Got a rock. Omega Glam Slam, center of the ring. And she puts her away quickly. Big win. Here is your winner, the Queen, Mrs. Omega. Putting on a good showing. And on to the next match. Up next, we have Efi and Droopy, who have been on a bit of a slump as of late as number one contenders. Clint and Cliff are here to help them get back on track. We'll take it down to the ring. Former OTCW champions back in the picture against the phenomenally on fire TNR who have held the titles for nearly 200 days. Efi and Droopy are multiple time champions over a variety of E-Feds across the Twitch platform. The brothers of House of Theory looking to get back on top. Efi signaling that they are ready for the titles again. However, these Southern boys are here to give them a fight for their money. And their opponents at a combined weight of 706 pounds. Tons of fun. The brothers Cliff and Clint. Cliff. In the back, the big man of the group, Clint, the older brother, and the muscle, as they say. Cliff tells his brother to get back in the ring. The only one missing from this group tonight is Clams. She's coming off a big victory on the last show, which you can find on Twitch on Thursdays and Saturday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And now we get down to it. Tornado style action. Droopy dropping Clint on his face. Cliff currently having his way with Efi. Into the corner he goes. And Droopy working on the back as Clint drops Efi with a series of clotheslines. Now the brothers double teaming the big man. Flipping suplex. From Efi. Leading to a basement drop kick as Droopy stomps on the chest. STO to Droopy. Flint beginning to take. Momentum out of Droopy sails is Efi dominating the big man on the outside. Efi coming now to help his brother in a flipping suplex for the little man and Droopy now going to the outside as the two exchange partners. Droopy is the brawler of the two from House of Theory. Efi is dropped on 
Clint's knee. Clint is sent back into the ring. Cliff now. Neck breaker on Droopy. Oh. Clint grabs the leg and throws Zephy onto his face. Droopy is DDT'd. Over the top. DDT from Efi, amazing agility. And there's Eve Rhodes. And the pin, Clint. Cliff watches as Efi gets a two count. Droopy slides into the ring and throws Cliff off. And Clint is eliminated with a brilliant elbow to the draw, knocking him clean out. There's the pin. Oh, Efi is cut short of whatever he was looking to do. Cliff fighting back. Efi still gets that heel hook. Cliff looking for help from Clint, but Clint unable to. Cliff able to get out of the heel hook. Eefy looks for it again, but Cliff is thrown to the outside. In a series of knees to the outside of the knee. Russian leg sweep. Oh, big stomp as Efi comes from behind. Cliff, though, able to kick out. And Efi sends him back into the ring. Jabs and punches. Oh, droops execution. As Cliff. is dropped and rolls out of the ring and still kicks out. And again a two count. He's sent back into the ring by Efi. Oh, and a kick to the jaw. Ends the night for Cliff. House of Theory picks up the win. A tiny bit of momentum. And hopefully... Hopefully... Enough to help them weather the storm of TNR. The walking mass of muscle, Shannon Bruce, will go one-on-one -on -one with the first Jobber King champion... Mark from DWF beat down. Shannon Bruce has been on a bit of a slump as well. And he's looking for a challenge, calling out the first champion of the jobbers. As big as they come, as strong as they come, able to throw down with the biggest and the greatest, but even every man, champion or not, struggles from time to time. And Shannon Bruce is no exception to that rule.
Weighing in at 172 pounds, Mark. Mark coming to us from the original DWF brand. Helm Dinner was seen by the walking god tier of Twitch Wrestling himself, Beyond Dre. You will catch new episodes, hopefully in the new year. Mark is the first Jobber King champion. Winning the Jobber King Rumble. Successfully defended the title once before losing it to sister brand DWF Uncensored Florida Man. And Shane and Bruce now rowing Mark away. Big right hand, clubbing right hands as Mark hits the ground with a thud. Shane and Bruce jumping on the back. And again jumping on the back. Trying to figure out what he wants to do as he slams Mark's knee off the mat. Mark goes for a tie up and Bruce's power just throws him away. Using his head, Mark counters with a dragon screw, dropping an elbow into the side. And now into the corner goes Bruce. And pressure continuing as Mark kicks him in the gut and drops him on his head with an alley-oop. Mark has made a name for him over in DWF. And came here to OTCW to partake in the Monsters Ball Jobber King Rumble. Became the champion and stayed on. Bruce dropping him with a huge big boot. Massive shots to the gut and Mark falls. Bruce now going for the stairs. Mark snapping back to life. Catches Bruce from behind. Oh, the stairs fall on Bruce as Mark goes for the pin. And only a one count. Mark going to go for the stairs, which may be a mistake. Nope. Catches Bruce flush in the face. Double axe handle and another club to the back, elbow to the back. Big suplex on the stairs. Jumping on the arm, on the hyper extended arm. Mark counters with a kick and the bounces off of him with a clothesline. And Bruce throws him into the stairs for his efforts. The tenacity and the durability of the former jobber king. 
as he weathers this assault. One handed choke slam. Got him up. Big power bomb on the outside. And again he kicks out. Bruce can't believe it. Now he grabs the stairs. Besides, he does not want them. Jumping on the other arm now. Mark rolls from the kick. Pulls the big man's leg from under him. And again, pulls it again. Using his head now. Keeping the big man off his feet. Big European uppercut. The punch spins Bruce around, but Mark gets caught with an elbow. As he sends him running. Oh, ho, ho, sits on his chest with authority. Lesser men have died. Up over his head in a bench press, Mark, th or Mark throwing and dropped. Bruce misses again with the leg drop. Throwing suplex. Bruce gathers the stairs, but then again decides he doesn't want them as he sits on the chest of Mark again. And right back to that arm again. Elbow to the chest. Shane and Bruce throws him into the ring. Looked like he was going to lead him, but Mark, quick to counter out with elbows to the midsection, bounces off of Bruce with the clothesline. And Bruce throws him into the turnbuckle. Big splash into the pin. And that's all for Mark. Shannon Bruce picks up the win. Here is your winner, the Viking Shannon Bruce. Mark made him work for it, though. And with that... We move on to have Ashley Jean and Jesse Myers from DWF Uncensored. Looking to go up against... OTCW's Karen and Sharon taking her down to the ring. Here we go. Two up-and-comers coming from DWF Uncensored. Jesse Myers. Flanked by Ashley Jean. Both of them making a mark here in OTCW. Looking to get a bit more of a push. As they lock horns. With the demons of OTCW.
every day of life, Karens. Both of these young ladies look ready for action. Not quite sure what they're going to get themselves into here. Series of boos for these two. Sharon and Karen always making a ruckus in the back looking for the manager. Legends in their own right. Or of their own making, I guess you could say. And here we go. Sharon going right to work on Ashley. Or on uh, Jesse, rather. Karen switches partners and gets a submission hold on Jesse. But both ladies now fighting back. Ashley locking horns with Sharon. Karen taking Jesse apart on the outside. Sharon reaching for Jesse there, and Ashley flies through the ropes and deflects her. Harakron a takeover from Sharon to Jesse. Or Karen to Jesse and Sharon with the bridging pin. Man, they look so alike it's hard to decipher who the two are from time to time. Ashley now working over Sharon on the out or Karen on the outside. Sharon coming out and getting introduced by Jesse. Jesse goes in the ring, leaves Ashley to the sisters, but comes back out. Now an abdominal stretch. Submission hold applied. Sharon counters, hip tossing her over. Breaking Ashley's back again. Karen backhands Sharon and then decides to go in and get Jesse. There's a pin on Ashley and only a one count. Jesse with the shots to Sharon or Karen's back. Telling her to get up. Oh, has her feet sweeped out from under her as she jumps. Knocks her into the corner. And Ashley gives her a shot. Sent to the outside by Ashley. 
Garen struggles to get up. Karen tosses her into the corner. Into the apron. Ashley sends her. And a big knee catches her under the jaw. The ref way out of position. And Sharon able to kick out. And Ashley a little afraid there that she was actually able to. Gets her head slammed into the ring post. Over the ropes goes Karen. Being followed by Jesse. Big DDT. And Karen kicks out. Oh! Spinning kick to the jaw. And Karen still finds a way to kick out. Head slammed into the mat by Sharon on Ashley. Jesse now running around. Jawbreaker on Jesse. Leaping STO as Karen begins to take momentum here. Sharon still working over Ashley. Power bomb swung into the apron. And Sharon with the pin. And Ashley kicks out. Sunset flip. And Jesse has been eliminated. Oh. Ashley is caught while trying to do her kick. And the sister's taking turns now. Ashley picking herself up and Sharon diving through the ropes gets caught. And we're down to two as Karen is eliminated. As the ref deems that she is unable to continue. And there's the pin. And again, the ref out of position. And a kick out without even a count. Ashley steps back. And power bombed on the barricade. Sent back into the ring. Ashley rolls to get up. She catches her. Puts her on the ropes. Kick to the thigh. Into the rope. And a big shoulder tackle gets Jesse and Ashley the victory. That was close. Sharon and Karen showing off their grit and tenacity. Nearly pulling off upset. But Ashley and Jesse pick up the win. The docket we have Blue Jay from SCW heading into the ring against Florida Man of DWF Uncensored. A superstar in his own right, a man of great prestige of SCW. Blue Jay makes his mark here in OTCW.
an impressive wrestler with great ring acumen. A true showman. SCW native OTCW is glad to have him here impressing the fans. And he will take on this man. The current Jobber King champion. And his opponent from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 120 pounds. The hybrid global extreme fighting champion, Wild Thing. He has two successful title defenses under his belt. Heading into the next pay per view, he will be defending. The honor of the Jobber King Championship. His last opponent, Nutball, coming up just short. And Blue Jay and Florida Man both have the same idea there, although Blue Jay getting a little more air. Elbows find their mark. Blue Jay flanks his with an elbow to the thigh. And a rotating DDT. Drops the knee across the head of the Florida Man. And look at that air trumpeting moon salt. And again. Florida man rolling out to get a breath of fresh air. But, oh, beautiful off-the-top rope springboard. 480 corkscrew takes the Florida man out. Still lots of life in him as he kicks out at one. Double under hook. Rotating DDT again. And a knee across the top of the head. Into the barricade. Back into the ring. Blue Jay going underneath. Getting the baseball bat. Florida Man is no stranger to hardcore matches. And this Falls Count Anywhere match. Weapons are allowed. Oh! Spinning kick to the back of the head. End of the ropes he goes, and what looked like a famous serve turns into a spinning kick. Beautiful moonsault springboard from the second rope. Blue Jay showing the agility. Misses the Phoenix splash as Borderman had him scouted. Baseball bat right to the left shoulder. The right shoulder and the chest. Blue Jay knocks the bat away. Sends him into the ropes. Over under. Double under hook power bomb. 
now propping up the pressure on the back and the knees there. A little bit of black magic here as the lights go out and the Florida man from behind. But Blue Jay ready for him. Blue Jay pushes him away. Unable to counter the Hurricanrana takeover. And the springboard wheelbarrow bulldog. And the beautiful DDT. And Florida man able to kick out. Blue Jay psyching himself up, telling the Florida man to get up. And another beautiful corkscrew over the top rope. Ripcord knee. Blue Jay gets in, grabs the bat. Oh, the knee taking the damage now. And Blue Jay goes for the pin. And that's it. Blue Jay picks up the win. Beautiful show of athleticism from the SCW native. As Blue Jay picks up the win. Our main event. Featuring former OTCW women's champion Zatara against the Florida woman from DWF. Uncensored. This is a steel cage. No escape match. The following is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from New York. The Anarchist Z A. Zatara made her way to us at the beginning, or midway through Season 1. Won the title at the end of Season 1. And has been a mainstay ever since. And her opponent, also a native of DWF Uncensored. Burning off whatever she has in her system as she runs around the ring. A little spark of energy. Is definitely on some kind of other level. Definitely not a fan here in OT OTCW, that's for sure. The cage gets lowered down. It's Atara. Nailing a running neck breaker. The wheelbarrow takeover. Big right hand. Knocks her off balance, Zatara elbowing the thigh as she drops the Florida woman on her head. Wide blow to the gut. Florida woman creates some separation with that elbow. Zatara, though, clothesline in the corner again. Comes off the rope. Misses the big splash. Overhead right. Sends her into the corner and drops her face down. 
and neck breaker. Elbow knocks Zatara back as the Florida woman takes over this match, building momentum with that suplex. Missing the springboard. Zatara able to capitalize, sends her under the ropes. Goes over, under. Goes over. Big power slam into the mat. Now stomping on the chest. And again. Knee to the side of the head. Looking for the splash. And again, she rolls out of the way. Capitalizing with a big elbow, puts Zatara to her back, and there's the pin. But only a one count. Ooh, drop kick to the knee. Take the legs from the big, bigger opponent. Classic strategy. And she continues to pour the pressure at that DDT. Clothesline flattens her. Throws her head first to the ground. Snap suplex. Another snap suplex. Samoan, rolling Samoan drop there. Satara looking for the anchor now. Might be a little early in the match to get a submission out of her. Oh. The Florida woman figures out how to get out, pulling the leg out. Big right hand. And Zatara drops her on her face. He using that power to pick her up off the mat. Running power slam. Stomps on the head. Oh, misses the knee. Blocks the right hand. Portal Woman again blocks and delivers her elbow she was looking for. Sends Atara into the corner. Clothesline into a running bulldog. Florida Woman now going to go up top. She cannot escape. Flying Splash. She looks tired as she climbs up. Looking for another one. And she gets it. Florida Woman now taunting. Thinking she already has the victory. Springboard and she misses. And Zatara now going to work on the legs. Now wrestling her off and putting her in an ankle lock. Is she going to get the submission win with the ankle lock? Florida woman able to roll out and kick her off. Throws her into the corner. Big chop across the chest. And a boot with the assistance from the rope to the face. Now choking Zatara in the corner. Stomps on her arm. 
looking to take that power game from her. Florida woman setting her mark, running to the corner. And there's another bulldog into the center of the ring. Picks her up instead of going for the pin. Kicks the leg out. And buries her into the mat with a DDT. Going up top again. Will she get the third body splash? She will. Sunset flip driver. Goes for the pin. And barely Zatara able to raise the shoulder. Florida woman now taunting. Zatara picking herself up. And she gets rocked on her face again. Florida woman sends her into the ropes but pulls her back for a head scissors takeover. And there's the comeback clotheslines. Spinning around to kick the legs out from Zatara. This could mean the end. But no, she counters. Pressing her up with bench presses above her head. Looking for something here. Florida woman gonna counter with shots to the midsection. Satara steps out of the way of the right hand and another neck breaker finds its way home. Going up top. Moonsault from the top rope. Mocking her opponent now. The Florida woman waves at her. And then stands there and watches for a moment as she plans what she's going to do next. Although that may have been a bit of a mistake as Zatara sweeps her leg out from under her. As she sets up for the anchor. And gets the victory via submission. What a victory and what a match. The Florida woman really pushed her to her limit there. Nearly getting the pinfall. Here is your winner, the anarchist Z.A. Harris. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming in and watching us here at OTCW Rebound Episode 3. We will see you next time. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I will catch you on our main shows on Twitch, The Omega Theory at twitch.tv. Have a wonderful remainder of your day, and we will catch you guys later. Goodbye.